a mild dopamine dysfunction in the brain. And that causes twitching of muscles. Basically what happens is we think that there is a problem with the afferent nerve leading to the brain and it signals the brain that there's irritation or, or pain in the foot or limb. The brain then signals in the efferent nerve we're going to contract and it contracts the muscles. And once those muscles contract, that produces more irritation, more pain. This disorder robs people of sleep and when that happens, they go into sleep deprivation. Um, they become forgetful, lack of concentration, depression. It can really mess up a life. In North America and Europe, the prevalence is 10%. In Asia, it's only 1%. The incidence in women is double that of men. And it occurs generally in middle age, um, starting around the age 40 and then increasingly becoming worse as the patient ages, although it can start at absolutely any age. This device puts pressure on the foot. It is targeted, continuous pressure. And it signals the brain, you have pressure here. Pressure trumps pain, which is a very interesting um, phenomenon that our body has. And a muscle that has pressure on it signals the brain that I have pressure. The brain then sends a pulse down the efferent nerve to the foot and says, relax. Our treatment exemplifies the underlying philosophy of osteopathic medicine. You have to treat the body as a whole, as one unit, and then the body can self-heal. So here we have, we're treating the foot. It signals the brain. The brain then signals the body to relax. And here we have a treatment to lower the symptoms of restless leg syndrome.